<laughs> so where are we at, Courtney? We're in Kansas. Kansas? How come everybody, everything is so gray, Charlie? Because it's clouded over a little. Yeah, but just... Maybe you've got because it's America. Kansas, everything is gray in Kansas. <laughs> I wish... They filmed I Kansas in black and white, else. you know that. But I think it really was like, well, look, I can't get this to China. Oh my goodness. I All right. wish there was someone out there, you know? <laughs> Maybe there's some other world out there. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Somewhere over. Yeah, definitely, I was thinking of that in too. There's a buzzard. So, where are we at, Charlie? We're Going in. Down the road, 40 miles We're in miles. Kansas. We're about 1,400 miles out of New York City. Uh, we did that in one drive. It took something like 26 hours. Luke, get away from me! God, you're so annoying! <laughs> so crowded! <laughs> Mom! I'm not doing this! I'm leaving! I'm going! Stop it! We should have... Why can't we just fly on a plane like normal people? <laughs> oh, yeah. well, it's all your fault. It'd be a great adventure! Let's go across country! It's your yeah. fault! It's your fault! You wanted to go to California. <laughs> <laughs> We're all having a great time. Yeah. There's some reason. We're driving because everyone should drive across this country. You should feel the distance. It should hurt. It's a big country. Going in some stupid airplane with a lot of other unwashed people in nasty shorts is not a good way to experience crossing America. You think the pioneers crossed America on an Airbus? No, they did not. <laughs> they, they did they not. They crossed it in a banged up old jalopy, just like this one. But it was a cattle, what was it? It was a uh, covered wagon. in the spirit of Neil Cassidy. I'm trying to feel the distance. Courtney is even reading the great book. What book are you reading, Courtney? I'm reading On the Road. By? Kerouac. Yeah. See, it says on the book. <laughs> and um, I just want an extra taste of being on the road. Because I don't think it's you know, authentic going reading cross country. experience. Yes. For real. Why can't I just read about reading it too, right? Experience. <laughs> Feel the literature. That's feeling the literature. Where are the planes? We this could cut now or we could let the movie roll for 28 hours. It's not going to look like this. Railroad. Abilene and Smoky Valley Railroad. Abilene? Yeah. You can see it. It's in the you distance. You can see the distance. You can see the Prairie Cathedral. I just missed a great road sign. She was in Abilene, Kansas, and it was a great cow town. One of the great American cow towns. This is where we still eat beef. There she is, that's the cathedral. See the big granary? There's a cathedral? Cheap. Cheap road. Abilene. Your trails end tonight. Do you know why it says your trails in tonight, guys? Because that's where the trail ended. The cattle trail. They drove the cattle all the way out from Texas. All the way from Texas? Wow. Yep. Okay. Wow. The, the, the purpose is business. You've got, you're raising beef in Texas, and you want to eat it in New York, and Chicago, and the population centers of the East Coast. They drove the cattle literally across wild country as far as the nearest train because they were building the railways at this very time. Okay? Now originally the first trailheads were right up near Chicago. That was the, why they had Chicago was the beef capital of the world. They killed more beef near Chicago than anywhere else. And then they brought the railway line down to Kansas City, where the stockyards were, which I was talking about yesterday. And then at one point they brought the rail lines out to Abilene. And I believe actually even before they built the railway, rail lines to Abilene, it was like a, um, an auction center and a place where they could get feed. Which is also to feed the cattle because they were pretty hungry after their walk. And that's why you've got that huge thing that looks like a cathedral is a granary, it's a grain store. Look at that Prairie Cathedral guys, it's a real huge. You know what the Prairie Cathedral is? What's a Prairie Cathedral? It's, it's a grow. grain store. And these guys are the biggest structures for miles around. And they built them to store grain because the farmers all over here grew grain. And they sold a lot of it to the cattle drives coming through here to take the cattle up to the railheads. And they stored it in these big grain elevators. And they're the biggest buildings around. And they're known as Prairie Cathedrals. And they stand out of the landscape. 
like the big medieval cathedrals do in Europe. And it's kind of like fun to think about. They're both kind of like similar in function. A cathedral in the medieval times, God's house, and this is the grain's house. The earth goddess. The earth goddess and business. It's the center of the business too, it's what it was all about, it's what they came here for. <laughs> All right, ready? Do that again, do that again. Are you ready? Ready? Ready, yeah. Over here they built small chapels and big granaries. Medieval Europe, they built little granaries and big cathedrals. Americans are smarter. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> also, they have their own land. Oh, that's nice. That's how they came too. But we're making up for it when you go across the country and see all these churches. Churches, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. You know how big, have little chapels and big billboards. Right, right. <laughs> that maybe, maybe that's the new Prairie Cathedral, is a God on the road billboard. This is, this is the real town. This is the real town of Abilene. Green Acres, that's the yeah, restaurant of that. Really Bowling. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, there, oh, look at the cow. There's a big oh, cow. Yes. There, look at that big cow. Oh, gosh, what a big cow. Okay. So we're here looking for fast food breakfast. <laughs> Where shall we have it? Oh. Dad, this is the Rocky uh, Mountain. Yes, this is the Rocky Mountain. Hi. Oh, I'm Luke. The, uh... I'm Luke. Look at my no! dagger. No! Don't this look at my dagger. No. no, okay guys. No, no, no. Hi, I'm the queen of the universe. Yes. It's just a piece of crap. And just look at me. Steal her at the show. I gotta teach Luke to do that. He doesn't know how to do that. Isn't that sad? Okay, Luke. All right, teaching today. Okay. Okay. Oh, Luke's I'm coffee. I'll vomit so cool. on this like, too. This is very cool. Charlie, here we go. Oh, sh what was that? Really clunky. <laughs> we are in the banger from hell. Going across America. It's really kind of fun, right? Here we are, Charlie. Hey. Oh. Dad, I don't see. Rocky Just put your little right face. Now. Now. Okay, Charlotte. Oh, okay, everybody the smile. Hush, Everyone America. smile. Stop it. Smile. Everyone. Charlotte, I need to see your. There. Now smile. The Rocky Mountains. They have some little names. There's the Grand Teton Range. There's the Sacka. But the Rocky Mountains basically run from the very north of America, at the North Pole, right down to the Gulf of Mexico. Dad, what are those groups of mountains? They're all Rockies. I think these are just called the Rockies. They might have a local name too, but I'm not sure. <coughs> July the 3rd. 2000, and where are we at? We're in the Rocky Mountains, yeah. driving I-70 yes. through the Vail Valley along the Colorado River. And we've got a, a bouquet of freshly cut sage. Filming, I think we've got to get past this truck. Okay. <laughs> Let's turn it off when we've got past this okay. truck. Okay, but I'm doing the sage right now, okay? We've got a nice bouquet of hand-cut sage. And we're going through a map. Oh, a tunnel! Oh, I guess the tunnel's cool. That's right. It's documenting. We're documenting our trip across very America. And very nicely said, but you're very well spoken. Here we go. Never fix to come out. Where is the light at the end of the tunnel? There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Jesus, oh, <laughs> Jesus. oh, Charlie, please don't ruin that. It's so lovely. <laughs> what is the light at the end of the tunnel? <coughs> oh, we are in the Rocky Mountains, and we're we're going. We're taking I-72 Utah. From there, we will go to Arizona. We will be at Monument Valley in a matter of a few hours. Where the mountain men first ventured for mine. Yeah. Is that buffalo skull with the wide footed eater? Yeah. Buffalo to eat sage. Yeah, where's the buffalo? You're putting the sage over there. Oh, maybe I'll do yeah. that. Yeah. That would be cool. Should I do that? Put some out of his eye or something? Yeah. We could tie a little bit there. Tie it on the sage. Our, our buffalo skull. Yeah, because I thought it was on the thing that we put sage in. Okay. We're going to like let it hang from the. Oh, I tell you that when you see these mountains, though, Charlie. I mean, I, when I look at the Rocky Mountains, I do think there is a God. I just have this incredible feeling inside, like I'm close to God. I know, it's pretty beautiful.
How's everybody doing this morning? Good. How are you doing, everyone? Good. Good at How are you doing, Courtney? Fine. Fine. Good morning, Good morning. everyone. So it'd be nice to be doing this trip for a month if we could go down that road and check it out.